G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. I've been wanting to film battle reports for ages now, and I've done lots in the past for Saga, and I did a few for In Her Majesty's Name, and uh, I'm very keen to do more. I wanted to have an experience that allowed people to be able to play a game without having to hold a camera and chase something around. So I've been fooling around with, oh, uh, scenario number two. you know, my own little Which setup here. To the death, I think. Playing right, a game so of Middle Earth strategy battle game here, we'll right at the beginning. Correct. <laughs> Isengard will be on white and Rohan will be on red. And I'm yeah, using a dice tray that's been keyed so out so we can actually see the here. dice rolls on screen rather than having to peer into a little dice box, Let's which is and it can always be difficult, especially if it's not lit. Crossbow guys. So I've got seven different that's, cameras running here. I've got four on the table, one in the uh, dice tray there, that big green box that you can see, an overhead cam. How many is that? Four, five, here. six. Oh, They've and got, of course um, the overhead. In there. Seven. And it's going to take a little bit of playing around. Whilst I go through my deployment here, I'll talk over this a little bit. It's going to take a little bit of playing There's around to good. you know get all the uh, yeah. angles yeah. in the correct. You know, color. You'll notice as the as the battle report plays that some of the angles have a slightly different color than the others. All right, there we go. It's just a matter of me playing around with those and sorting sorting that out. I'm just going to pause this here. You can see real quickly too. There's a sort of a a black line on the screen. That's the outside of the dice tray that hasn't keyed out properly. Captain. Uh, but I can fix that in the next video. But as a proof proof of concept, I think this is pretty good. I would really greatly appreciate your feedback. Represented uh, by this hammer. Any comments or, or you know feedback um, that you've got about this I style of battle report Gimli. would it's be really really Gimli. useful. Um, I can't I can't remember his name. I've got uh, loads of friends who are keen to film other games warriors. that uh, you know I don't play like Swords 40k and, and AOS and Star Wars Legion and, and lots of other uh, games that uh, you know I have armies yeah. for but don't really play. I'm not and having said that, you know, I'm still learning how to play. Anything like that, but you know, given that like these ruins here might be difficult terrain and slow movement and stuff, I'm not going to worry about that. Again, just for the purposes of you know learning the game and you know getting used to you know, all the um, stats and whatnot, I'm not going to worry about the terrain. You know, I'm going to have enough trouble coping with the the. Uh, uh, what are they called? Heroic actions and stuff. All right, so we'll get those guys out over there. Now we'll I was just about to say, to you know, I've only just started playing Isengard. Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game. I used, I played it years and years They've and years ago, but that was a long time ago. So it's going to take time to get back into the new, the rules, and I'm just starting off has very very simple. Mail, but I haven't sat down and actually painted him up yet. And I thought if I share my journey with you on learning to play the game, you know, then, uh, you know, it might encourage other people to, you know, get into the game. It's and, doing really uh, well here in Victoria. There's a wonderfully passionate and dedicated scene. In fact, all across Australia, some of the, the best Middle Earth content that I've seen on YouTube comes out of Australia. Stick him over here. And we'll try and run around this building around this way. I don't know why, but, you know, let's try it. <laughs> so we'll just swap him over. And then we'll get our six inches from him sort of up. Through so I'm just going through the deployment right, so sequence for scenario number two. Five warriors. Uh, to the death, I think it's called. Five were a kind, it's basically just a pitched battle. One force shields, versus the other force. And, and uh, the game ends when one force has been reduced to 25% and then you add up victory points. All right, and then we've got the last unit for Rohan, which is Theodred. I don't think this miniature is actually Thaedrid. <laughs> I've had yeah, most of these miniatures for years know. and years and years um, amongst my collection of, you know, wargaming stuff. I've had, uh, you know, these sitting in various different sorts of boxes. And I don't know what got me all excited about this, but I've been on a Middle Earth strategy battle kick for so probably six weeks now, maybe eight weeks. Um, I'm loving it. That building in the middle, that one uh, right there in the center, the cream and red building is a new, part of a new range from Knights of Dice. Called right, ruins so of Alaria. You know, all the feature sides. buildings will you know, come with some ruins sort of and stuff. Over here between the infantry, cavalry planning on coming around the buildings and up from behind. We'll see how we go. Let's get into priority for the first turn. Talking over my strategy there. Sorry about that. 
So again, Isengard on white and Rohan on red. Rohan on the red dice have priority for the first turn. So I think that dice trade is going to work out quite well. You know, I've got a swiper in there, or a wiper to swipe the dice away. Ten. We we'll just run all these guys up here. Let's not get too elaborate with things. Let's just play the game and get things underway. So we can move these guys three inches up behind these walls here. These guys will get three to here, three to here, three to here. So if you move up to three uh, inches, you can still guy. shoot. Yeah, okay, cool. If you move more three, than three inches, you shoulder. can't shoot. So I'm just moving these guys just a little and bit up to that brick wall so we can get some shots inches, off. Right? They've got bows which have a 24 inch range. Well, so, run, but you know, if those six inches up this way, if that eyes and guard force comes towards me, they should be in range and I should be able to shoot at them. Movement might get my little counter out and stick that on the table so I know that good has the priority. I will clean up my room, I promise. This way. <laughs> six inches. I think crossbows have a 24 inch range. Yeah, sweet. Okay. And so do the bows. So the bows are going to be able to shoot back at me. That's all right. We'll take shots at those guys. We can take some shots at those guys. All right. So I won't move those guys. We'll just leave them sitting there for the moment. Let's join these guys up into a big blob. That crossbow is an amazing and weapon. So regular bows have a 24 inch range and a strength two. The crossbows charge. have a 24 inch range and a strength four. And They're I'm absolutely amazing. And There's we'll no see during this game, those Rohan bows don't really do a lot, but the Urukai crossbows, you know, do do a fair bit more than, than those bows. That mob of cavalry is slightly scary. I wish I had my crossbows over here. That would have been a way better Eyes and guard. The Urukai end up getting smashed in this game. Get shots from those guys on these guys over here in the open. I really made some I'm bad decisions. Maybe if I shuffle my crossbows back over here somewhere, um, no, 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 stop it. All right. Do I want to get the charge off on these guys? So we but you know, it was a it was a fun forward. game. I I, I really learn. So Something new every time I play. Thundering through, we can charge them back. Right, let's move back ever so slightly. And, I'm, and you know, I'm hoping is, that by Shaku filming battle reports like this, and is that just that stupid miniature that I've got on there? No, he, he doesn't, doesn't have, have a bow. bow. He's got that weird funky knife, doesn't he? He does. Pick that up later no, on. Right, riding so dagger. Um, by filming battle reports like this and watching them back and doing this voiceover, okay, so I'm going to see more three. things. I'm going to learn more things. So they can still shoot. And we will have shots on the crossbows, which probably make more sense to see if we can whittle some of those guys down rather than pick off some of these. There'll still be no in the way rolls. Everybody's within range. So let's just go from right across to left. That Specifically learning people's four. stats and the stats the of different time. sorts of weapons and stuff. That's, there's a massive dice tray here and I can't hit it. Misses. Okay, so the second guy the second guy is going to be shooting at this guy out here. Actually, we should have shots on Brasku, shouldn't we? Brasku's over here. That's Brasku. Brasku's over here. Oh, he's behind that rock. Let's have a look. Nah, he's in the open from that guy alone. And he hits. You'll see how this dice tray works a little wounded? bit later on. There's a, a, a very uh, short uh, clip of it in action. Two, so when I move one of the cameras, you can see how that slider works. Oh, oh, that six is almost there. He uh, hits, but doesn't do any damage. All right, next guy in here, shooting at this guy over here. Looking for that four, no. Next guy here, shooting at this guy over here. No, and the next guy. For this type of game, for um, Middle Earth Strategy Battle six, Game, you're hits. not normally rolling huge does numbers of dice, so I might make a smaller caddy. Six. For the dice tower no, so the dice doesn't. are more so concentrated no towards the center of the screen the at the moment they scatter arches. out in a square Everybody in the middle it's, i think it's working perfectly spears. but they've already moved so i can't throw those all right so isengard i don't know who i'm going for in this game yet that that'll become evident as the game sort of uh evolves i have always been very keen on the isengard force but after i speed painted my rohan force kind of loving those guys 
That was a fun project. Right, crossbows. 24 hour speed paint. I did that with my friend Ed, and he also painted we'll his road home. These we got guys loads will all be of stuff done. It was great. Here with no in the way, but these guys can shoot at these guys with no in the way. Can You can split fire, you can shoot at anybody you want, right? Sure okay, can. so let's start off with this guy over here, having a shot on those guys over there. So Ro uh, Isengard are on white dice, so let's roll some white guys. White dice. This guy shooting at the captain right here. They are 4-4, four, four, so that's a hit. I suppose strength four, so uh, fives. No. Next guy also shooting at the captain. Hits. Wounding. He does a wound. So the captain got one point of fate. Let's let's roll it up. He fails and um, so spends that fate and takes a wound. It's now down to one wound. Nice job. Um, all right, next to Rakai, hitting on that four, shooting at the captain again, and wounding on fives. No. There you go. You can see how that dice mechanic Rusku. works there. That little slider drags Rusku the dice out of the have... way. And because it's it's a weird neon green color, I can we'll key that out as well, so you don't see that moving. You just see the dice sliding off screen. His ability. His uh, heroic ability. We just have some shots on these guys. That guy is in the open now. It is what you see is in, like true line of sight, right? This guy doesn't have any cover. These guys would. So let's have two shots on this guy here. Hang on, force. The Vrasku actually has shoot three, which is amazing. So they're, they're both hits. And strength four. Needs uh, five to hit, uh, five to wound, and he's done it. Killed this one little man over here. All right, the last remaining Urukai is going to be able to shoot at this guy here, but we're going to have an in the way. So they are on the white dice. Let's roll that up for it's our in the way hits the wall. I think I mentioned here about I not I think that's knowing all our shooting for the in the way rules. Turn one, those guys shot down here, didn't do anything. Crossbows fired back, killed one of them, put a wound on the captain over here. And that's about it. Let's roll up priority for turn two. Yes, yeah, so I must have got the rules later on. Dice, for on, on the red. In the way tests. And it is Isengard again with the priority. Not exactly what I wanted in terms of this over here because. I now can't charge those guys, but anyway, let's thunder this mob forward six inches to sort of around here somewhere. So we'll get that guy up there, get these guys up here, get these guys up here, run these guys in six inches to sort of around here somewhere. And they just get followed up with these guys. Really should put some Urukai with pikes in here for some support. Now these guys, I don't think we still need to move. They can keep having shots at those guys, although they're getting their in the way rolls, but Rusku can help them with that. So I think we'll leave those guys there. What do we do about this? Jaku has that weird knife, right? Some throwing spears, but these guys are outside 12 because I wanted to make sure they were outside 12. Let's 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 just bring him over here. Make that cavalry come run around that building after me. Oh, we're gonna get those guys out of the way. That cavalry can charge through. Rohan. Alright, so Rohan. <laughs> let's let's go running around this building. Go somewhere around here. I'm only playing 300 point here. games at the moment, and Scott and I at Knights of Dice have played seven we'll games, I think. Here, geez, we played Scenario close. 7 yesterday. Getting close. Actually, we can and, go uh, I've really been enjoying here. it. I think the game will change quite a lot once we Take start boosting those, those points bowmen. values up, but now, given that neither of us have played guys, the game a great deal. I'm not going to be outside charge, off, but let's get as close yeah, as at possible a lower point limit. that we get the priority in the next turn. 
Let so me know what good, you're thinking of this style so far. Obviously, there's some color correction that I need to do on the different sorts of layers. You can see this top down view has a, a slightly All right, so that's our movement. different color than the other cameras. These guys will stay where they are and have some shots. Hopefully, whittle out some of these guys. Okay, so shooting. Well, let's see now. Got no shooting I think that audio here, might be able to be improved a little bit. I'm wearing a very cheap we'll microphone. Guys in the ruins that again. can be replaced at so some we'll just stage. go left to right. You know, this guy here hitting on a four hits, winning on a uh, in the way for the wall. No. I think the dice roller is working out well. I think they just need Next to concentrate guy, those dice a little bit more here. in the center of the screen. Does he misses? Next guy, this guy here shooting at this guy over here. Get that in the tray, Viv. Misses. Crossbow's not being massively effective this turn. Okay, so now Vrasku's got two shots on threes. Shooting at this guy here. Two hits. He's in the way. Uh, so um, I must look it up, but I'm playing this as one, two, three, four hits the wall. Five sixes go past, because that's a pretty solid wall. So I'm going to try and get past it on a five or six. I think it's four, five, six, but we get uh, four, five, six. I'm going to say that's a, a heavy object. So five or sixes get through, hits the wall. I still haven't looked up those rules yet. And our last guy shooting at this guy over here. Hits and doesn't wound. Oh, hits. That hits the wall. Got to remember, in the way rolls first. Okay, so no shooting. Uh, well, the shooting from Isengard being terribly ineffective. Let's get around this side. Okay, so these guys, I think, instead of worrying about these crossbowmen at the back, which our cavalry can come thundering through and take care of those guys, we need to whittle out some of these guys. So nobody's moved, so we're shooting at these guys in the open. This first guy here shooting at this guy here. Um, they have fight uh, three, shoot four. So hitting on fours. Nope. The Rohan shooting is, is absolutely red, ineffective right? in this game. It this next guy anything. here. Shooting at this guy here. No. And the last guy shooting at this guy at the front. Can he see that guy at the front? No, you can see one of the guys at the back. But I, you know, I'm enjoying this the process of playing this game. Obviously, if I no. knew more about the game, I'd be All able right, to contribute so more than just arrows and bolts banter. flying everywhere, but does nothing. Isengard has a priority. That's movement, shooting. There's no combat, so we're up to a priority for turn three. I don't see myself doing these sorts of voiceovers the over the uh, over every video. Have it just for still this proof of concept with the five over the four. Okay, so uh, righto, righto. Hmm, we've got a small issue here. We're going to turn around and charge. Theodred, charge this guy here. We'll I'm basically charge just sacrificing those wags here at this point. They've got no chance against that Rohan cavalry, and they get cleaned up. You know, my and strategy from the beginning with the Urukai was just not good. Business here, so we'll send this guy in here first. We'll run this guy through that gap. You, you can, can see that this camera is nice and vibrant, back, whereas the other one's guy. quite washed out. Even run though they're the same camera with the same gap. settings. Into this guy. We'll run so I'll work on that this for the next guy report. Up into here. And this guy around the corner. That gap. We'll run this guy through here into the captain. Run this guy up around the back into this guy. Get around there. That guy was here somewhere. Six inches. Ah, uh, it's a bit too far, Viv. So up into this guy here. We'll run this I am guy really enjoying this game. There. You know, the simplicity in its Actually, rules no, make the game, the captain. you know, relatively quick and easy to learn. But there we then, go. You, know, the, you get all that complexity all right, from so this whatever. movement. Movement is a huge a thing way to have done in this that, game. But, you know, we'll just get these and two guys obviously up here. all the special abilities and heroic actions and stuff, which I'm not really using. We'll move those guys, charges there, charges there. 
I don't know I'm when to use them or how to use them, or, or in fact, even Actually, which characters have, have those abilities in the you know the moment of playing the game, which probably I think we which is where this playing these sorts of games, now. you know, just solo games, recording a battle report, then brought this cavalry up around help this me side up here, and put some shots on these guys before they came around the corner. <laughs> we have made them run all the way around the building, which is nice. I should have put some shots onto those guys. Anyway, those guys are going to get cleaned up, I'm pretty sure. That's it. Movement. Let's just start getting these guys. I still want those shots, so we'll just move these guys up three inches. At this point, I really should have uh, moved those crossbowmen to, to, in a better firing line to start having shots straight away at the cavalry. Okay, so Instead of, I move them past this rock and then they're here. totally ineffective. We'll the cavalry just comes around and storms through. This guy out. Who have we got? That guy's engaged, engaged with the captain, this guy, this guy, this guy. So we've got these two guys here. I'm going to charge this guy. And we'll split that off. Those two there will fight. And I'll charge this guy out into this guy here. And then we've got that combat there, that combat there, that combat there, and that one there. This guy's going to come out and around here. This guy will come. It's a, you can make that in 10 inches easy. Come out around this way into that guy there. This guy will come out and into that guy there. So that's all our movement shooting from Isengard. Again, our crossbowmen are just going to try and shoot these guys over here up in the ruined. So I think we'll cross our fire here because these guys here will be shooting through or very close to that combat. This guy here on the edge. I don't know why Which I'm exchanging shots of these guys so in the ruins. I should have been shooting those crossbow guys accuracy. into the cavalry and um, you know, just chancing that 50-50, uh, so we'll you know, do that. I hit my guy or do I hit the enemy? Everyone will shoot at those know, guys in the It would have been way more starting effective. With Rusku, so I could have at least stopped a couple on, uh, of those cavalry. The game could have been different. He gets one hit through and the in the way roll, which is failed re-roll for heroic accuracy and he fails as well. Good job, Rusku. Good job. Next guy here, uh, he'll be shooting at this guy up over here, shooting on a four. All right. Next guy, shooting at the same guy. Let's get that out of the way, shooting. It's uh, in the way, fails, reroll for heroic accuracy, gets through. We'll use a black dice for the wounding. That doesn't make it into the dice tray. <laughs> <laughs> Fails. Now let's get these off the table. Um, this I am guy really liking that dice tray. I think here. the effect is really good. And fours. No. Can quite clearly and, and easily see guys. the dice. I just need so to keep, keep clean up the keying a little bit. Get rid of that black line you can see on the screen. And passes. Does he wound? A little bit of extra attention to detail no. while I'm editing. Uh, and the last guy. But I think it works well. It's in the way. Reroll. No. I'm pretty sure if I look up that in the way test, which you know I'll do after the game, slowly, slowly improve each game my understanding of the rules and my accuracy of them. We can determine whether this wall and this ruin is actually a five or six or a four, five, six. Uh, to, if you know what it is, it. please put a comment. Right, so we're just going to shoot back. I can't great. shoot into this combat here. Everybody is engaged. If you are liking this video, please so we'll give it a like. If you haven't subscribed here. already, click Starting that red subscribe button here. and the bell notification. Uh, we'll select all so you don't miss Rohan anything in the future. A, um, Leave a comment if you can. Five. Clicking that like we'll button and adding it. a comment really helps out my the channel. Four. Get me back uh, into the wound? algorithm. Needing a six because the boy's only strength two. <laughs> no. All right, the next two guys. I think we'll both shoot at... Uh, Rusku down here, so the first guy hitting on uh, fours, hits, wounding on sixes, no, and the last guy, fours and sixes, hits, doesn't wound, 
All right, so those Rohan archers have been a wretchedly useless. There's some great dice that's rolls in this game. Movement. I love that's that dice tower because you get to see the dice actually spinning around. And sometimes, you know, on both when it's spinning for a long time, so you can see, is it going to be a six or a one, six or a one, or a two or a five? Or... Stop and shoot. Well, throw. Combats. All right, let's do the cavalry over here first. Let's do this one here first. So we've got a two on one. There's no cavalry bonuses. So Isengard on white and Rohan on red. Who wins the fight? So I've got my two army leaders over there, does. and I haven't been using any heroic abilities at, at all. Thaedrid's got heroic strike and heroic challenge, but now, uh, you know I've never used heroic challenge. This guy really heroic get strike out of there in this instance, not, very, not, not a great deal of use. backing into anybody. I think Shaku has heroic He can heroic certainly march. disengage, but whether he can get more than an inch away, this guy can't move because he's engaged in combat. And we can't get out the other side because I've trapped him in there. This guy I'm going to totally say he's out. trapped. The double strikes. So first set of strikes. He, he can come out towards the right there, diagonally down uh, to the fives. right. I just didn't see it when I was looking at nope. the game. Second set of strikes. There's the five. That's done it. I think I missed up the On dice the rolls there. I think I rolled that out. two. Now we need I thought, a courage I I test. Two fives. For the wag. So the wag is only courage two. And that's a fail, so the wag runs off as well. And that's the first casualty of the game. All right, we'll come back and do um, Buggle Fernler in a minute. What's his name? Shaku. We'll do this other wag rider over here again, two on one. So no bonuses for charging or anything. Who wins the fight? Oh, Isengard do. On a mid-level three, push those guys back. And nobody's trapped, so... Getting that one attack. Three's not going to do nothing. All right, so Rusku has two attacks. Thaedrid in there has three. Thaedrid can be on the blue dice. And the other Rider of Rohan on the white. I don't so know I'm talking about Rusku. Who wins I think the this fight? is a fight between Shaku and Thaedrid. Thaedrid does. Now this guy can get out of there into here. Right, so Thaedrid's on the blue dice, fours to wound. The Rider of Rohan is on the white, which is five. <laughs> and no damage done to uh, Shaku. Good job. All right, so <laughs> that's that mess over here sorted out. Now, this mess over here, this big massive melee. All right, so what have we got here? We've got, let's do this one here. This one on one here. So, Rohan on the red, Isengard on the white. It's more of a creamish color, really, isn't it? All right, so when is it with the four? We can um, push that guy back. Okay, so strength four versus uh, defense five is needing fives. Doesn't do anything. Next combat. All right, I think we'll choose this one on one here. I'm enjoying Gun this process. White, you know, there, there is a little bit of work in terms of filming this. Then I take I it into Premiere Pro to do my initial edit. Then I bring it back into damage? OBS to do this voiceover and watch the no, game. Then don't. I take it back to Premiere to adjust the sound and add any right, overlays. Let's have a look and see what's next. So this for my final edit that goes back. online. Um, let's do this one but on one. Just being here. able to play this game and capture the content with all of these cameras, which I think looks okay. You know, Rohan not chasing the action. You know, everything is static, do but we've got enough views there to be able to understand what's going on. That, you know, I'm hoping that I can you know, play a couple of games a week and, and here, record them and therefore have here. lots of uh, footage that I can edit into, you know, these sorts of battle reports. Uh, but this is, like I said before, all of them won't have these voiceovers. And they kill him. Especially once I know more about the game and I can actually come and right, just a, a big bit more scrum there at the moment. People just pushing each other around. Now we've got some multi-combats. Actually, we'll do those in a minute. We'll pick this one here, which is another one-on-one. -on -one. Rohan win this one. Do they do any damage? They do. So, a little bit more blood spilled. 
on the Isengard force. No Rohan take, oh, no, we have taken out one archer. All right, now we've got this scenario here and this one here against the captain. All right, we'll do this two on one here first. Who wins the fight? Let's get rid of that. Who wins the fight? Ooh, uh, Isengard do. Oh, hang on a second. I rolled a white dice then for the Rohan and two red dice for the um, Urukai. So I must remember to keep my dice organized. That five belonged to the Rohan. So he has pushed these two back. And does he do any damage? Oh, you can see that six floating there. He hasn't. Like that dice roll, you can now see the, the captain, dice just teetering on the edge. He has two attacks versus those two Uruks. So dice are a piece. Look at that. Double sixes. Get out of here. We are not interested. Now let's see what sort of damage he can do. Okay, so red dice for the damage. His strength four versus defense six, so fives. And he's killed one of them. I think we'll take out this chap here. And that looks like all our combat's done. All of this is sorted out. All of that sorted out. All right, priority for the next turn. Again, Isengard on the white, Rohan on the red. And it's a draw. Who had it last time? Evil did. So let's flip that. Good has it. Rohan. Okay, this is what they needed, although that cavalry is still trapped over here. So let's have a look at uh, this cavalry business over here. Right. Charge this guy here. Adrid must charge. He has that charge uh, here. reckless charge special charge rule, here. which means that he must charge somebody if he can. Trap him in there. Charge here. Charge here and trap him in there. What they say? Traps win games. All right, that's that. Well, they certainly make a big difference over here. That cavalry clean those guys up, then come storming across. One of them runs through the archway of that building and charges somebody else. Unfortunately, Let's we missed that. this business you know, over here. We've got about eight minutes left of this before the audio cuts out and the rest of it's you know, unusable to right, continue editing this battle stuff. report. But as a proof of concept, here. I think this is working well. That's a like I've mentioned a couple times now, your feedback would be really we'll useful to me. Are you enjoying this? This side here. Obviously, you know, playing by myself, you don't get that banter and you know, that exchange of, you know, uh, you know, conversation yeah, and discussion. Yeah. And I don't expect to, you know, do a voiceover on all the games like this. I just wanted to, uh, you know, for, this, for, for these first few, I have one loose orc jump on and fill in some of the gaps. I don't think I can charge both these guys, so we'll just charge that in there. Like this image here is way overexposed. Charge him out there. That's their movement. This one's nice. These guys will stay there and have some more stupid pot shots. That's movement for Rohan. Isengard force. All right, so everything is engaged here. We've only really got one move here. That's to charge this guy here into the captain. That two on one there. Might keep... There is another overlay that I'd like to use that allows me to draw on the screen, we'll sort of like ESPN. See, if I move these guys up three, I can still have shots on those guys in there. More easily. But this cavalry so over here is going to clean that, uh, these guys up in a minute, so I kind of want to get a few them a little bit from further now so I can goes. shoot back on them. Or I bring them a little bit back and shoot through this gap here, but there's always the risk that they'll run around this way and then that rock will be in the way. So let's forego any sort of shooting and we'll just get these guys up here with some sort of configuration. These crossbowmen could have been so much us. more effective. I've just faffed around with them for a couple of turns now, taking those stupid shots of those guys in the ruin, and they could have been way better positioned. Yes, so it doesn't let's happen. Let's put this guy here, this guy here, and see if we split these guys out a little bit and put Brascu back here, we can shoot over that guy's shoulder. All right, so that'll be our movement there. Shooting. Yep, so our cross our 
bowmen up here in the ruins will shoot at these crossbow guys out here all in the open. We'll just start off with this guy on the right here. Hitting on uh, um, four, um, fives, right? Uh, hitting on fours. Fight three, shoot four, uh, winning on fives. Uh, next guy here, shooting on this guy here. On a four, no. Last guy, same target, this guy here, shooting at this guy here. Hits, does he wound? Let's roll a black dice for that. Roll a white dice because it's the closest. <laughs> he does, casualty. So we'll take this guy out of action. I think that's the only casualty those Rohan No shooting from this, this game. I forgot again about those throwing spears. Maybe if, they did too, I can't remember. No shooting over here because these guys move more than six inches. Combat, okay, Rohan, how do you want to do this? Let's and do the bloody throwing uh, cavalry. Spears. I always again. forget about them. So there's Sharku on a throw. Let's do this one here first, this three on one here. The so Rohan on the red and the Isengard on the white. He's trapped, so this could be brutal first set of strikes. Again. Clear those <laughs> dice away. <laughs> That's enough to kill the rider. Does the wag hang around? Ooh, eight plus courage two, nine, ten. Uh, he does. Now I'm not entirely sure what happens in this instance, but in the interest of just keeping the game flowing and looking up things afterwards. There's still two strikes that are happening here. The first guy put in his strikes, killed the rider. These two guys haven't striked yet. So I'm going to say that that wag is still involved in this combat and these guys still get to have their attacks against it. So the second set of strikes against the wag. <laughs> yeah, that wag's well and truly dead. So let's get him out of there. All right, this big one here between um, Shaku and two warriors and Theodred. So again, we'll do Theodred's three attacks on the blue dice, the two riders on the red and Shaku on the white. Now, again, you know, this is where I should be using some sort of heroic actions or abilities, but you know, I still need to get used to the stats in the game. So we won't worry about that. I might use the might for boosting dice rolls, etc. All right. So Theodred has won with a six. And there's no point Sharku spending any might to boost his dice rolls. He can't beat it anyway. All right. So would, would just poor Sharku is value. trapped in there. I'm pretty sure this is the end of him. So Phaedred's first set of strikes. So he gets three attacks and they're all doubled. So here's the first set. That's nothing. Second set. Ooh, five. That'll do it. Shaku has one point of fate. So I think we'll try and throw that, which he saves. And Thaedrid's last set of strikes does nothing. The first uh, rider, his set of strikes. Fives will do it. And that's Shaku gone with full might <laughs> anyway we'll get to that point where i can start using all of that sort of stuff all right so that cavalry has done exactly what i thought it would do cleaned up those guys over there we're in trouble over here on the eyes and guard side of things all right let's have a look now at this combat over here we'll do this one on one here and then we'll do this one on one so let's start off with these guys here eyes and guard on white and the rohan on red and always it's a draw so it comes down to fight I'm pretty sure that the Uruk is going to have the higher fight with four versus the Rohan of three. So he pushes this guy back. And can he damage him on fives? Oh, he does. That's only the second casualty for Rohan. All right, amazing. All right, second set. Or well, the second combat there. This one here. Now that's a Rohan victory. And can he kill him? He can. That's this guy. Let me just check first. I think they're only strength three. 
Yeah, I think they're strength three. They need sixes to wound. Versus I think I messed up six. one of the combats before. Pretty sure they need a six. All right, so that five's not enough. That five is not enough at all. All right. My hands in the dice tray. But this guy still gets pushed back. Let's do this one over here. And then the one next to it. Rohan on red. It's a draw and the Oryx will win that because they have a higher fight. Push this guy back. And can we do some damage to this guy? No. Next one, that's this combat here. The Rohan have won this. Can they do some damage? So it's just about to cut Ooh. out here. Unfortunately, as I mentioned before, the uh, top-down camera, the web camera, that's, there we go. The web camera that's above the table is streaming to OBS, where that wireless mic I was wearing is also streaming to. So it was capturing the overhead and the mic I was wearing. And when that cut out, the rest of the audio from the other phones uh, and the camera that was recording the room just wasn't usable. It was just not usable sound. So I didn't go ahead and edit the rest of the video, but as a proof of concept, uh, I think it worked really well. Um, let me know what you think. You know, your feedback is super valuable to me as it was for uh, the video that I put up about the invisible dice tray. And if you haven't seen that, where are we? <laughs> you can watch that here. Uh, that was version one of the Dice Tower. The feedback from people, uh, you know, gave me a lot to think about. So I made that version two with the little scraper, the swiper, the wiper thing. So I want, you didn't have this great big hand of God coming in to take the dice out of the dice tray. And I think it worked really well. So your feedback on this type of battle report uh, would be super useful. It's very easy for me to film and, pr and, and produce, although there's a lot of back and forward and it takes a lot of time. But uh, you know, I think it's much more enjoyable for me and the players uh, rather than having to hold a camera and chase the, the action, so to speak. So there we go. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do click that red subscribe button and the bell notification. Make sure you select all so you don't miss anything in the future. And if you did like the video, please give it a like. Leave a comment too if you can. Leaving a comment and clicking that like button really helped me out. Like I said before, get me back into the algorithm. Um, it's the best way you can help me and keep me motivated and excited uh, not just you know getting me back into the algorithm but you know keep me motivated and excited to keep making more videos i'm really enjoying it i'll catch you soon guys thanks for tuning in see ya